Hey guys, this is Mike from My Private Library. Uh, I think I got the webcam thing worked out, so my video should be nice and high def now. And uh, I just wanted to do a quick little review of a book I just finished. It's uh, Enigma by Peter Milligan and art by uh, Duncan Fregretto. So the story behind this book, um, a couple years ago when uh, Grant Morrison wrote Super Gods, I think it was 2011, um, he spends a little bit talking about sort of the British invasion of writers, you know, with uh, Moore, Gaiman, Milligan, and himself. And he had a quick little side note in here about Enigma and about how much he liked it. And I know him and Peter Milligan are friends, and, you know, obviously you could have vouched for your friend. But um, he made it sound really interesting, and so shortly after this book came out, um, I was in my comic shop, and I noticed they had a copy of the paperback. So I picked it up just on a whim. Um, it is kind of back. This is a twenty dollar trade, but this is the uh, older version of it. I guess it was printed in I think ninety three. But yeah, it's it's a very weird story. Uh, basic plotline is you have this guy named Michael Smith who's kind of living his unfulfilled life out in California, or I don't think explicitly said California, but it's kind of assumed. When all of a sudden. Um, his childhood, like, imaginary friend, who was based on this comic book character called the Enigma, apparently comes to life and starts beating up villains from comic books who were in these Enigma comics when he was a kid. And it really affects him in a weird way. Like, um, he starts, you know, doubting his sanity. He goes, he meets the creator of the Enigma comics. And it's just this whole weird existential and... Uh, sexual exploration um, you know he goes through kind of a sexual reawakening which is interesting you know I honestly can't say I've read anything else like that and yeah typical British weirdness but actually very good um, I know they actually just came they just re-released this in a new paperback or it might even be a hardcover I think it just came out a couple weeks ago so yeah if you're into I don't even know how to describe it. I really don't. You know, you have this guy who meets his childhood imaginary friend who's real and is extremely weird. He's alien-like, but he has these powers that are basically godlike. I mean, Morrison in Super Gods, he says it perfectly. He's, um, he describes the Enigma as Dr. Manhattan from Watchmen, except with none of his humanity, really. He's completely alien, and he came from like a backwoods hick town so that's the powers that this guy has and that's what he's putting out in the world and you know so he's he's a hero by definition but other than that he's not really a human hero he doesn't really care about humanity and that's where michael smith kind of comes in you know grounding him a little so it's interesting if you can find an older copy it might be cheaper i mean this is twenty dollars for the older version of the trade, but I think the new deluxe one they came out with, I don't even know if it is a deluxe version they came out, but there is a new, a new version of the paperback, because I think it was kind of out of print. So yeah, really weird, really interesting, I think, at least worth picking up and checking out. Um, like I said, if you're a fan of Morrison, Morrison vouches for it, and he praises it on high, he does the introduction to the book, so obviously it's, if you're a fan of the kind of weirdness that Grant Morrison puts out, I think you're going to be a fan of this kind of weirdness. And the art is very good. Um, I think the only other thing I've had with Duncan Figretto was when he was with Grant Morrison on Kid Eternity. But I think with Kid Eternity, he was doing paints. That was his art style. Now this one, he's doing pencils. So, uh, it's, yeah. Typical weird art. Oh, and, and I think he actually does the the covers might actually be him in paint, but, um, it's kind of nice little, yeah, we get a nice shot of the Enigma, but it's very bizarre, and it, it goes along with the bizarreness of the story itself. Um, yeah, the, bizarre is the word to describe this book, but it's a good kind of bizarre, and when it comes to the end, that's not the Enigma. That's one of the bad guys called the truth. Eh. 
that. Yeah, I think worth checking out if you're a fan of the weird. And it is, it may not be a huge, you know, it might not have a huge place in comics history as far as I know. But it is interesting and worth picking up if you can find it. Which should be easy now that they have the uh, new version out. So yeah, just a quick review on uh, Enigma by Peter Milligan and Duncan Fergretta. Uh, so yeah, now that I have this new cam, and thanks to uh, Riley over at the Omnibus Collector, I have a couple subscribers. If you like it, check out the blog, myprivatelibrary.tumblr.com. And if you want, make some suggestions or comments for other videos, other reviews you'd like to see, and I'll do what I can. Thanks.